Hey everyone, it's Chance. Um, this is my first keyboard I ever had. Uh, it was given to me when I joined a band and uh, they didn't have a keyboardist and I said I couldn't figure it out. We broke up before I could figure it out, but I got the keyboard, I guess. So what I want to do today is I want to go through this thing and, and, and try and make a song using samples from it. It's not the best sounding thing in the world, but we're going to see what we can get out of it. So let's get started. All right, I'm not worried about tempo or anything like that right now. We're just gonna get started with samples. And I think the first thing I want to do is start with some drums. So this thing has a couple different drum kits. So let's go to 128. That's not bad. Not a fan of that. I think I like the first one. Let's go 120. Let's go 128. So that's going to be our kick. Let's get our sample ready. All right. Now snare time. Open hi hat. We get a shaker and an open hi hat. So let's go back to the open hi hat first. And then shaker. All right, now let's move on to, we have four more slots. We can always lose one, two if we need to. Probably bass next. So we don't have a ton of options. We'll start with acoustic bass. Not feeling that. That's not bad. That's also not bad. That's not great. <laughs> okay. I actually like this one. So that's gonna be our bass. I think what I would like to do next is a pad. Not quite feeling that. What does that sound like with a chord? It's all right. No. No. Or I could, uh, yeah. All right, two more. Nope. That's not bad. Yeah, let's do that one. All right, so we got two more spots. We need a lead and maybe some keys or some plucks. All right, square wave. Yep, as advertised. Saw. Okay, so that's all our leads. I think I'm gonna go with either the saw or the square because we could do the most with it in here with effects. I think I'm just gonna go with the square. Or the saw, sorry. And lastly, we'll just kind of explore. Okay, so start at the beginning, grand piano. Okay, so we're gonna go with music box. All right, so now I'm gonna get these tidied up, mess with them a little bit, name them and everything, and then I'll check back in when I've got them all situated. All right, some time has passed. Uh, forgive the setup here. I uh, tried to record it directly into my interface and had some issues with that. I'm gonna try and figure out a solution for this later, but right now uh, I'm just having to record into a Zoom recorder and that's doing uh, both my voice and this, so sorry about that. Let's go into the samples here and start with our kick. I pitched it down to match, because everything I recorded, I recorded in C, all the uh, instruments. So, Pitch the uh, kick down to be C. Pitch the snare up to be a C. Didn't change the envelope in this guy, just gave it a little bit of EQ. Let's see if I can turn the. There you go. Because it was recording rune tone, there's a lot of lows in there, so I just cut those out. And then I got this going through a bit crusher, just very slightly to give it a little crunch. And a filter that's just kind of taking off a little bit of those highs. For the snare, just a little bit of EQ and some bit crushing. The hi hat. Just EQ and adjust the envelope. 
so it kind of cut off a little bit. There was a little bit of noise in the background on that one. Open I hat, the same thing. And I also pitched it down to be in the key of the song or key of the samples. A little bit of EQ, no effects on either one of these guys. Shaker, no effects, just EQ'd it. Mess with the envelope, because without this, I don't know, it just doesn't sound like a shaker to me. The bass has like, there's a little bit of noise in the front of the sample from the room, but I kind of liked it. I don't know, it just gives it a weird lo-fi sound. A little bit EQ, and then some filtering. That's about it on that for now. The pad I did quite a bit too, because it had a lot of noise. And I just kind of smoothed that out with the envelope and some EQ, added some chorus and filtering, and now it kind of lost a lot of that noise. It sounds actually really nice. I like how it sounds quite a bit. The saw wave, I didn't really adjust anything with its envelope at the moment. I just added some pretty harsh EQ on this one. Bit crusher, some chorus, and a little bit of delay. I think that sounds really good also. And then lastly, the music box. Uh, adjusted the envelope on that. It had a click in the beginning. It sounded good fading into it as well. I really liked both of that, so that was a win-win. Um, some EQ and chorus and a little bit slightly different delay than this guy and also slightly different chorus settings. That way they don't conflict with each other and interfere too much. So that's really it for what I've done to the samples. Now I'm gonna make a beat out of it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think I want to mess with that thing again. That was really fun. I want to try and get some of those other drum signs out of it, some of the other synths, some of the things like that. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Um, let me know what you thought. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Until then, be good to each other, okay?